good afternoon students today we are going to discuss one more uh, new chapter already i sent a link whatsapp through the whatsapp youtube link about adolescents so today i am going to start adolescents lesson uh, some introduction which is given in our textbook according to that we are going to discuss with the other examples also i am going to add so you observe that and what is adolescence and what are the changes are there in the adolescence everything you have to learn from this chapter now let us start the chapter what is our lesson name adolescence the age of adolescence okay the age of adolescence the age of adolescence okay the age of adolescence we are going to discuss adolescence what is adolescence we are going to discuss one question here in this chapter this is two marks question or one mark question you may get uh, according to our academic standards so that may given as a one mark question or that may given as a two marks question so here what is adolescence before going to know that answer we have to read some topic which is given in our textbook what is given here navin the name which is given navin is studying in 8th class who is here navin is studying in 8th class so in that 8th class some changes he observed in his body what are the changes so what is given here he is very active he has been idle these days he even feels shy while talking to strangers and even with the, the relatives strangers means a new persons when he is speaking with the new persons or when he is speaking with the relatives so shy what is the meaning of shy so some what the shyness uh, he is uh, unable to speak with them some the feeling which we call as shy so when we are speaking with the new ones some what shy we can feel what is the reason they are unknown for us what we have to speak with them so for that we are unable to speak with them comfortably so some shyness also we shows there the same feeling we can show even in the uh, relative sense what is the reason here we are growing he grown up in that uh, eighth class so up to seventh sixth whatever the years passed away so slowly so year by year he grown but in the eighth class particular some changes he is going to observe so what is given there if he starts speaking his voice becomes somewhat hoarse somewhat hoarse some changes up to uh, 5th 6th 7th 8th up to 7th his voice is constant but when he entered into 8th so in that age so in that particular time some changes he observed in his voice so that we call as hoarse sound which is coming from his mouth so the r sound when he observed so he felt somewhat shy why my voice changed like this then he does not care to feel suggest and advise to his parents so in that age he does not care and suggest is a parents uh, advice so he won't mind any word because uh, his uh, voice changed and he is not uh, care about his parents and you he, he is not mind uh, he is not uh, um, obeying his uh, parents words our suggestions because some changes which occur in his body and according to age the main concept here according to age so such a symptoms we can find 
So, what is the reason behind that means all these reasons indicates us he is in adolescent age. So, that's what, what they ask the first question, what is adolescent? So, the particular period we known as adolescent age. So, here, his parents are worried on noticing his changing behavior as Navin e, Navin's grandfather says he is growing now. That is why he is not listening the words. Navin's grandfather. Parents worried about his uh, changes. But Navin's grandfather find out and he advised Navin's parents he is grown up. He is growing. So that's what uh, he will not uh, listen our words because he is in the particular age that we call as adolescent. What do we call? Adolescent age. So that's what our lesson is what is a the age of adolescence. The age of adolescence. Which year onwards up to which year do we call it as adolescence age? So that's what I asked you a question. What is adolescence age? See here two questions are there. Based, uh, after that we can discuss what is adolescent age definition. So some of you are, some of you also may behave like this. Why? In your class, in the 8th class, some of the students, some, some of you, among you, some of the students, you behave as this like this. Why? What is the reason? Next. Have you noticed that you are growing. Did you notice that or have you noticed that you are growing in this particular year? You are growing. Have you ever noticed this or did you notice it? So what is that? That is adolescence age. So here the definition given. Usually we see changes in the age of 10 to 19 years. This period is called adolescence actually in the olden days 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 so 13 to 19 18 this is called actually adolescence age but uh, the world became advanced so 10 to 19 now at the present is 9 10 to 19, this period is known as adolescence age. In this particular 10 to 19, the child growing up, so they grow in this particular period. So that's what this period is known as adolescent age. Okay. During this period, changes observed inside outside of the body. For example, changes in voice, growing tall, etc. So, in this particular period, during this 10 to 19 age, internal changes and external changes, we can grow height and our voice also changes. In particularly, in the male voice changes, we can observe. So, these are the changes we can see in the adolescence age. Do you observe the changes in you in to, to in you too? So which means do you observe in your body also the same changes? Yes, no doubt. Everybody may have this, all this experience. Write down the changes usually you observe during your adolescence. So you find out what changes you observe in your body. Write down. Okay, have you reached the age of adolescence? So here some of the questions given in our textbook. All question answers you answer, question, all the questions you have to answer, then you are going to find out to, uh, have you reached in adolescent age or not. Read the following questions. Think whether the following changes have you, have occurred in you too. So, whatever the changes which are given in these uh, questions, you have to read all questions and you answer 
and you can find out have you reached in adolescence age or not have you observed all these changes in your adolescence age or not so all this you can get the experience by reading so first question is mustache growing on your upper lip mustaches is it growing on your upper lip or not in particularly male so in the adolescence age you can find mustaches grow on our upper lip so upper lip that is in male itself you have to remember in the male you can find out that did your voice change yes no doubt your voice also change in that particular age so for sound whatever i said that is changes you can find our hair grow under armpit genital region so hair growth under armpit and uh, at the genital growth genital region so hair growth at the genital region and uh, armpit so mustaches uh, hair grow at armpit and uh, genital region so these are the changes did you observe or not next what is given there are there pimples or eggs eggs on your face spots pimples occur on your face in adolescence did you observe or not next are you talking are you taking care of your face by applying powder combing your hair frequently so some changes what are the changes occur at that time in the adolescence age you are try to expose yourself you should be appear clean and neat so you are applying powder on your face you are combing your hair and you are try to expose yourself very neatly to the surrounding areas means to to the nature so to to your neighbors so that is a main uh feeling you can show in that adolescence age next so many questions are given here what are the other questions which are given here are you looking your face in uh, the mirror frequently yes so how is your face always you are in front of the mirror and you are checking so how how i am i am i handsome or not so like that you yourself um, feel by standing in front of the mirror next are you feel are you feeling shy when talking with the opposite sex so when you for example you are a boy when you are speaking with a girl you you feel some shy even uh, girl also when uh, speaking with the opposite sex which means boy then she also feels shy so that we can observe in especially in adolescence age so that is a reason next are you not interested to play with opposite sex which you have done earlier so in the in the early age for example you are 5 years 6 years or 7 years boy or girl you won't have any say you can mingle with the girl uh, girl may mingle with the boy boy may mingle with the girl and they together play so they can uh, play together so there is no shy feeling but when you reach in adolescence age so there is a somewhat shy you are unable to play with the girls girls are able to play with the boys so that is the reason did you observe or not so no doubt they cannot play in a such a manner next are you showing uh, restlessness while your parents suggest to you to do something so whenever your parents saying anything whenever uh, your parents uh, give any work to you but you won't uh, mind all that things you won't follow such a things you show some of the restlessness to your parents because you are not listening their words because you are in adolescent age so that is the reason next if your answers yes whatever the questions up to now we read and whatever the questions i explain you if your answer or yes for most most of the above questions it reflects that you are in adolescence 
there are maybe 1 2 3 4 5 nine questions i read so among the nine questions if you give answer most of the questions yes you are in adolescent age so whoever in adolescent age so they shows their feelings and they behave like in this manner so that's what the you reached in adolescence age no doubt during adolescence changes occur in external internal parts of our body so externally some changes we can find and internally we can uh, find some changes you will show interest to spend time with the peers these changes may misleading that could be one of the reason for worry of your parents so when you are in adolescence age most of the time you are ready to spend with spend with the opposite sex which means if the adolescent boy is there he tries to spend his time with the girl if the girl is there in adolescence she tries to spend with the boy so this is somebody equal to their parents so that's what uh, most of the adolescent uh, age of uh, students uh, the parents uh, care must take care more and more so this is very very important task so that's what we are learning about this chapter in the eighth itself because in the eighth class that is a starting point of adolescence age so that's what you have to know all these things for that purpose only the chapter kept in our eighth we should learn about this adolescence here itself okay so adolescence does not uh, show interest to discuss about the changes with their parents whatever the changes occur they are not ready to discuss with their parents for example people occur okay so they they are unable to show with their parents they are unable to explain about this they feel themselves they because more pressure on them how can they explain about this pimples to their parents so that's what uh, they want to uh, show to the parents and they want to uh, express the feelings with their parents in that particular period so that is the main concept here this is a complex stage of life because they grow from child to adolescence this is very very important stage they grow from childhood to adolescence that is a main concept why child to it changes into adolescent so many changes occur so that changes some they can express with their parents most of the changes they are unable to express with their parents so that is another aspect that is a thing that's what they won't mind with the uh, they won't mind all the things whatever their parents say to them next they have a lot of stress due to these changes and are unable to decide whether they belong to adult or childhood there is a more pressure on them they feel themselves with the pressure there is a stress on them they are unable to decide whether they are children or whether they are adult so this is a very difficult age in each and every person's life so they cannot behave like a children they cannot behave like a adult so there is a more pressure or stress on them that is a one the main concept here this is the period of confusion and what is the reason here more confusion is there along with the confusion transition so they confuse they cannot uh, express their uh, feelings and they cannot uh, uh, take out their decisions they cannot uh, show their opinions outside because they are not major 
they are not child so child uh, opinions no one consider so they are not mature so they cannot express their feelings freely so this is the main thing adolescence um, in the adolescence age so many changes occur that changes should uh, recognize by themselves and that changes should recognize their parents so then at that particular period parents care must require here then only they can move in the proper manner and their life will be smooth and their future also will be bright so this is the introduction of adolescence so in this topic only one question up to now we discuss what is adolescence usually the age of 19 to 20 19 to 20 usually the age of a child 10 to 19 that period is called as adolescence 10 to 19 the previous it was 13 to 19 but now at present 10 years to 19 years it is called as adolescence age so this is only one question today and tomorrow to be continue the lesson